it's a beautiful morning here on Norris Lake. This is day two, and uh, you see the fog coming up off the lake. But uh, this pretty weather is not going to last. We have thunderstorms. As a matter of fact, severe thunderstorms moving in. And uh, we're trying to decide if we want to stay anchored where we're at or uh, try to find a dock at a marina or something uh, to weather the storm. Well, last night was pretty uneventful. Our anchor held, yay. But it was cold. Not just cold, but it was cold as a witch's titty in a brass bra. This morning, though, we woke up to an absolutely gorgeous morning, which is not going to last because there are severe thunderstorms headed this way. So as soon as we finish our morning routine and our breakfast, we're headed a few miles down the river here to a marina that has covered slips for ten dollars a night and we're going to tie down under some cover. Okay, Brett is diabetic and he has to do several insulin injections a day and we also have to monitor his vital signs every single morning. We take his blood pressure, he does a pulse ox and temperature just to keep an eye on how he's doing because he has had some septic infections which were caused by the diabetes. So we have to carry insulin. He does injections of a mealtime insulin. So before breakfast, lunch, and dinner we have this. And then he does a long lasting insulin twice a day. And all this stuff we have to keep it sterile. We have to carry the alcohol pads. Um, the needles that go on these, the syringes for these. And it takes a little bit of work, but just because you're sick doesn't mean that you have to sit at home and just wait to die. You can still live your life as long as you have life to live. So that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, I'm making some uh, sausage and eggs for, bre for breakfast this morning, and I did these the same way I did the hamburgers. They were pre-cooked and vacuum sealed, so all I had to do was heat them up. And if you've ever tried to carry fresh eggs when you were camping or boating, you know it's nearly impossible. These are very easy to carry, and they don't take up hardly any room, and they're quick to make. And uh, Samantha made us a loaf of sourdough bread as a um, first trip gift, I guess. And I'm making Brett some toast out of it this morning, and I'm going to have a little toast for breakfast. Evidently the storm that's coming is bringing the fishermen out. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about fishing, but I heard that uh, this is a really good time. The storm is only about uh, maybe an hour away, and we're going to have to hurry and eat and get, get moving. And we're headed over to Cedar Grove Marina trying to outrun this storm. It still is an absolutely gorgeous day, but the storm is less than an hour away from us now. And we're hoping we can make it there before it actually hits. You can see the water's getting a little choppy. The wind is picking up. Not much. The trees are not moving much. But it's headed this way fast. I wanted to do more filming yesterday, film the launch and everything, because everybody came out to watch us off, but things got a little hectic. Um, they've went the lake down. You can see the bank all around, which made it harder to get the boat in the water. And then we did not know it because we had no way to see, but the bunks, the boards that sit on the trailer that hold the boat on, they had, the bolts had rotted and the bunks actually came off of the trailer before we got the boat off of the trailer. So that created some problems yesterday and it took us about two hours to launch. Yesterday we only got to drive around for maybe 30 minutes and then we had to try and set the anchor before it got dark. And it took us two hours to set the anchor because the bottom here is really muddy. One time when I dropped it, I hooked a board that was, it was a two by eight, and it must have been at least 12 or 14 feet long. 
and I had to get that off of the anchor before I could even try again. And one time, we actually drove over the anchor and the anchor rope got twisted around our motor and our trolling motor. So I had to untangle that before we could try again. We definitely learned a lot yesterday and it was quite an adventure. I said I wish I had filmed more so that y'all could see some of what went on, but it was pretty chaotic. see the marina just up ahead and you can also see how cloudy that it has gotten just in the past 30-45 minutes. There are a lot of houseboats here at Cedar Grove and we have to get past all of them and get up to the dock. There's a little store there where we'll, we will rent our slip there and then she'll tell us where to go to. So we're actually going to have to dock twice, which is going to be fun with just me and Brett. And we've never done this before at all in a pontoon boat. Well, we just uh, made it to Cedar Grove Marina in, uh, on Norris Lake in Tennessee and we managed to get a covered slip. It took us about 45 minutes to get here. We just beat the rain and the current uh, right here was pretty bad. It was uh, kind of a tight quarters getting uh, the sputter butt into this covered slip and we had to make a couple tries at it. We got it and uh, took a couple of times but we managed to get in here without digging the pontoons out on the boat beside of us. Yeah, it was a it was a little rough, but we're glad to be here. Here's a look at what's going on here. This is the weather radar. Um, we are right here and uh, the really hard weather is just now starting to get here. Pretty sure we made the right decision to uh, dock somewhere uh, instead of uh, anchor where we were. Six o'clock at night, and we're still here. We went through two rounds of storms, and we've got more to go. Only good thing about this evening is Becky has a pot of chili. And we're going to go in there and tear into it. Arr!